I'm not looking for people at their worst. I'm just looking for them at their most honest. The ability of the still to consolidate, to condense a set of emotions, a set of conditions in a very small area that you can look at continuously and be with. And it may be that ability to be in the presence of that thing for a duration that makes the still photograph so resonant. The most recent body of work I'm working on is the COVID journals. Here in New York City, in the spring, in March and April, when people were becoming ill and many were dying, it was a moment of contagion. I was sitting at home, like everyone else, because being an artist is hardly being an essential worker. I was trying to imagine, what kind of work should I be making now? And then it came to me. I lived seven blocks from Elmhurst Hospital. That was the first hospital to fill up. And so I didn't have to disobey any lockdown orders. I put a mask and gloves on, and I walked the seven blocks with my camera. This is Jocelyn, this is Meg, and this is Angel. This is Nurse Omar and Nurse Ileana. In this latest shift, people have seen the need, have felt the responsibility to protest for social justice in huge numbers despite the pandemic. And I began photographing because I realized it was important to know what that looked like. Every moment of every day, we carry in our heads an image of ourselves, of how we are supposed to look. This image that we carry around gets in the way of the photograph. My role and responsibility is just to be as honest and clear as I possibly can. And if I'm working with portraiture, it's to be as present as I would like the subject to be. So I am there with them. I need a certain level of vulnerability. It's just who they are. And that's a hard thing to ask for. And sometimes it happens quite unexpectedly.